the experience of just using a, of, a, of using a diagramming tool should be nice, you know, it should be pleasant as I'm working through it, it shouldn't get in the way, um, and it should be just be really easy to use. So we paid a lot of attention on, you know, the types of shapes and, uh, you know, having round corners and, and nice glyphs and, and icons and nice gradients, um, as well as making it just easy just to create and edit code and, and get those visualization features out. Um, you know, Really focusing on the developer experience inside the tool was was um, you know, a main priority for us in this version. Um, what, what's really been the hardest thing to get working uh, on the class design? What's been the most challenging thing to date for you guys? Um, it's a V1, and so with a V1, there's like we've been getting great feedback from from customers in in our blogs, news groups, through Ladybug. There's been a lot of people who have been uh, liking a lot of suggestions, and the hardest thing is 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 knowing all the great stuff that you want to do, and all the stuff that you know, it, you're bound by, you know, the the ship dates and and and, and uh, you know schedules and constraints and so forth, and so there's a lot of infrastructure to be built in in a V1. Um, but again, you want to build something which you know, has still a lot of value for, for customers and, and that will know where, where we're heading in, down in the, in the future. So a lot of the hardest decisions have been on, on you know, the feature set and knowing what we can and can't build in, in this first version. So a lot of the uh, a big theme uh, with the uh, team system guys that are all sitting around us has been has been dog fooding of their own tools, whether it's their performance tools or the uh, team the team suite uh, stuff. Uh, do you guys what, what do you uh, you dog fooding the design of the actual class designer within the class designer using that? Actually, we have daylight? we have been using this very early on in in, in dog fooding class designer. Um, one of the scenarios that I mentioned is using class design for documentation. So you can easily pick up these diagrams and export it as an image um, out to, say, a Word document, for example, um, or even email. So uh, some of the, the, the scenarios that we've been using it ourselves is coming up with diagrams like this for perhaps, say, our design docs. Um, uh, when there's been uh, new code changes, for example, new API changes, we've had developers you know, use uh, Class Designer, create a diagram, put it in an email, and uh, and uh, describe the API changes. You know that way, and that's actually been helping us quite a bit um, in terms of communicating mm -hmm. code and and code design around the team, but also making sure that you know that we're dog fooding our tool and making it as robust as possible. How, how extensible is the class designer? So if you're somebody who's got you know additional information that you wanted to be showing in the in the diagram to go with your class, whether it's like you know passing percentage of unit tests that go right. on top of it, or whether it's you know bugs associated with this class potentially, uh, how how capable is it possible to do that sort of thing? See, so, and now you know, this is getting into all the all the hard <laughs> the, decisions the that cool we have, all the cool you stuff have. that you can do. Um, <laughs> Again, uh, extensibility isn't supported for, for this first version. Uh, we felt we needed just you know, more time to really bake that in. Um, it will be something that we want to focus in, in the future to really enable all those cool scenarios and many more that we've been, that, that customers have been uh, you know, suggesting to be really enable that in, in the future. But for now, uh, no extensibility. What are some of the uh, best suggestions you've gotten so far from either internal or external customers? Ah, where do I start? <laughs> um, there's there's a lot of cool. As soon as people start seeing, you know, the types of visualization features, they immediately start thinking, well, wouldn't it be great if I could have lots of filtering capabilities, um, so that you know I could, with a with a fairly large diagram like this, you know, being able to apply global filters like just show me public. Um, members, or just show me members which have this attribute applied to it. Um, you know, so that that's that's some of the cool stuff there. A lot of even a lot of suggestions even around um, uh, code design, such as pattern support. Um, you know, these are all like really really cool features that uh, you know we hope to, to to be able to get in in the future. So you, you touched on it. You touched on it briefly, and I know one of the questions that, that I've heard I've heard out there is what's 
what is the relationship between uh, the model that we've got here, uh, the class designer, and you know, the UML uh, tools that exist out there today? Um, there's, there's actually very little. I mean, when, when people look at, at the types of diagrams that you build in class designer, I mean, we've used UML notation you know, where it makes sense. Um, for example, you can see our, our notation for inheritance lines and, and, and members um, and showing member types. Someone who is familiar with UML class diagrams should be able just to, to understand and read these diagrams here. The, the thing that we've added um, on top of our class diagrams is again making those the, the C sharp or the VB uh, language concepts and terminology, mm -hmm. make, treating that as first class citizens on the diagram uh, so that the user doesn't have to you know, relearn a new uh, type system or a type model. There, there's less, new less translation required to use the tools right, there for sure. Right, right. So that, that was very important for us to be able to display language specific terminology and concepts depending on the project that you're working on so that developers uh, who may not may or may not be familiar with UML can easily uh, use and benefit from class diagramming features. So you have customers that uh, that might be seeing this video and they they, they, they may have recently gotten beta two or um, a more recent a more recent drop. Uh, what's the first thing they should try out with the class designer? What would you like to see them try first? Uh, I'd love them to, to try out the uh, the feature that I showed before, just being able to right-click on the project or a namespace and getting a an auto diagram on top of that. That's a new feature that we've uh, put in for, on Beta 2, based on a lot of custom feedback that we received. Um, and and see, you know, is it really giving them the type of diagrams that they you know, they think they can then build on top of? Um, and, and definitely, the um, the the scenarios around the diagram being in sync with the code, editing code, um, working in team scenarios such as in you know checking code in and out, checking even class diagrams in and out of uh, source code control, and seeing how how um, you know, how does it live up to those you know real world scenarios, you know, really testing it out, and that would help us make it more robust. You know we think we've got to a point where it is fairly robust, and we do have features that mitigate a lot of these scenarios. But we want to. We want people to, to try them out. See where we go. Um, so, what kind of uh, what kind of um, let's see, what, do you have anything planned in terms of tweaks that you know of from beta two that you're looking at making? You know, as we head towards a more final release, uh, or is it purely you know wait and see what the customers say in beta two and say okay we've got to address these concerns? We, we do have um, some. We do have some things that are that are on the list. Um, again, this is mainly driven from customer feedback through through Ladybug and the beta one bits and CDP builds. Mm -hmm. um, again, it's always uh, a fine line <laughs> between you know, how much can we get into um, into to this version. You know, we really want to ship what we already have, and we want to make sure that what we have is as robust as possible. Um, and always being cognizant of the fact that. If you start editing code in there, then you're, you're starting to introduce a lot of risk. Mm -hmm. um, but we will be um, really listening attentively to, to feedback that we get from customers over the beta 2 bits to see are there any things that we must absolutely fix or, or put in um, before we ship the final version. So I've been asking other people this. So I, I found you because of because of your blog, which is kind of an interesting scenario because I wouldn't have even known, you know, where you were working or what you were working on had I not been paying attention to the blogs. But um, what made you want to start a blog or you know make make posts to the blog on a on a basis like you've been doing? Um, it, it's really that customer connection. There there have been several, um, uh, at least two team members on the class designer team that have have their own uh, blogs. Um, and it was something that the rest of the team was kind of like envious of and wanted to be able to you know, get into it um, and start writing blog articles. And we all felt that it would be a good um, opportunity for us to start like a team blog and be able to, to, you know, to share the various perspectives across the team members about the various features, where we think it should be going. Um, and it's been great because we have had 
we have this uh, this timetable that we've set ourselves that you know every Thursday we have uh, someone on the team write a blog article, and as soon as we post that, that article out, we have been getting feedback uh, from from readers on you know what they think of the tool, what they think of that particular feature, uh, and that's just been great. I mean, getting that really immediate feedback uh, from users is what got us into it. Cool. Is there anything else you'd like to uh, show us or talk about? Uh, no, other than please use Class Designer. Um, uh, test it out in the beta 2 bit. Uh, I think it will uh, really be a great uh, productivity tool for our developers. Um, and we really need that feedback to, to help us build something that would be useful um, and which you know, delivers a lot of value proposition. Yeah, just trying it out myself, I think you've already got something that's, that's extremely valuable there. So. Cool stuff. Thanks. Cheers.